All right, I'm coming on the other side of you. See all the gold nuggets there? There's gold right there. After liquefying, you want to stratify that material. You want to go back and forth, or you can go in a circle. That's a, that's a good point. It's a good point. We have a few basic tools for panning. Using. We've got a, a nice little pick here and a small shovel, quarter inch, quarter inch mess classifier. We had three little pieces of gold in that last pan. Coming to you from the great American West. Fortunately, we're in an area here that, as you can see, has a lot of water. Beautiful, clean water. We are filtering it, but uh, it's beautiful. And uh, got the water right there. We're gonna do some processing. We're gonna run some dirt. We're gonna search out and see what kind of gold we can find. Stay tuned. We've got a classifier screen there that classifies to quarter inch minus, or half inch, actually that's half inch minus, and we're now digging this hole down. Okay, we got the uh, river sluice set up in a pretty good position here to, uh, to run the dirt so that we can use it as a sampling. We got the sluice set up pretty nicely until until we had the sluice set up we did some panning just a straight panning in the river and now that gets old real quick so uh, we probably pan four different pans five different pans and uh, we realized we needed a better way of processing so that we can see what the heck we're, uh, we're recovering. So I'm gonna do a little shot here from the, from the tail end. And we're not super concerned with what's happening here because for primarily the gold sticks in the V-mat up in the front there where my dad's feeding it. So it is important to be able to uh, have confidence that you're catching the, you know, any gold that makes it out of the V-mat area and the top of the sluice. Here we go, I'm gonna get a little closer. Oh, looks like there's enough in here. 
Okay, can you point? We got that. That's a bigger piece. Can you point to it again, buddy? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, more to come. Thanks for watching. Pretty much the second search, take a sample. I got one bucket here classified quarter inch minus and uh, just pretty much taking a surficial sample. I'm gonna go put it through the uh, sluice box and see if there's any gold in it at all. Here we go. I've taken a couple more samples. One of and, them was uh, pretty nice. One of them had about, it's about a third of a bucket and it had about 15 pieces. Uh, four or five of them were nice little pieces and the rest of them were just more or less specks. But this is the next spot I'm gonna take a, take a shot at here. This is a, uh, this is bedrock decomposing granite. And uh, you see this nice little trap here that's filled with cobbles, uh, large and small, tiny, some real tiny stuff in there, but I'm going to clean that out and uh, classify it down and I'll run it through the, the sluice. We still have the sluice set up in the same spot, so it works as a nice nice uh, primary concentrator. So uh, and I'll check we're back, back later. Back. All right, as you can see here, This is that same area right here, and boy, you would not believe. If you can imagine it, the, the most compacted type of roots and rocks and cobbles you could ever imagine, that's what you get in a place like this. Basically, I'm scraping down in here, and there's, as you can see, there's embedded cobbles way down in here, and roots. Right here, scraping bedrock, and I'm getting down in here, and uh, you know I've got root, root on top of root, and then in between the roots, I've got this decomposing granite down in places like this here. I got a cobble, got a little cobble in there, so. I'm cleaning all this out. There's that cobble down in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get down to the very bottom and see how deep this goes. But all this material here, in the meantime, I'm, get, I'm scooping it up. And then I use this classifier screen. So the classifier screen takes out everything that's larger than a quarter of an inch. For the most part, the gold is not going to be anywhere near a quarter of an inch. Now, just just so you know, if you if you're using a classifier like this and you happen to start finding some larger gold, then your alarm, the red flag should go off because if I were to find a piece of gold that was anywhere near a quarter of an inch, I would start using a half inch classifier because I don't want to miss those larger pieces of gold. So just based upon my experience, a quarter inch is plenty big because the gold we're finding here is much smaller than that. So as you can see here now, when you shake it, You got a combination of decomposing granite and cobbles, small and large. I've already thrown out some cobbles that were the size of footballs out of here, but basically you want to clean off, clean off that material as well as you can, and then you got the quarter inch minus there. So primarily the reason that that's super important is that 
in order for the sluice to function properly and the riffles not to get impacted with large stones, you need to have a quarter inch minus for many types of setups. You know, if you have it set up for larger, like a, quarter, a half inch minus, then you're gonna have greater flow, perhaps different type of riffles set up. But basically that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna get about a bucket worth out of here. And uh, I haven't been able to budge that rock yet. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out and I'll report back later. Alright, we are back here. This is, as you can see, this is a much cleaned out version of the area I showed you earlier. And what I did was I cleaned everything out as best I could here. And back here, got rid of the large cobbles, cleaned it out. This is all, <clears throat> this is all bedrock in here. I got all these little grooves cleaned out. I found a nice little pocket right here in the bedrock and uh, scoured all that out. Ended up with about one, uh, one and a half to nearly two buckets of classified quarter inch minus material. And I ran all that and, um, you know, I found gold in every, in every uh, half bucket. It's pretty, pretty exciting. There wasn't a whole lot. Uh, there weren't any large pieces. Uh, so, you know, it's probably about 30 pieces of color in, in this here. So I'm gonna probably leave it at that for right now. I'm just gonna show you this bedrock. This is all, this is all sort of sculpted bedrock, water-worn sculpted bedrock and if, if the results were better, we would be further excavating. We, you can see here, there's a cobble, and there's a cobble, there's, there's more cobbles in here. There's, there's more room for investigation. It's just that from what we've seen so far in this particular sample, that it's, you know, it's, it's looking like maybe we wanna try another area, try a different spot. So what my dad and I are really attempting to do here is locate an area where we can set up our high banker and we can run some material for a couple days. So that's it for right now. I am going to uh, I am going to go run the rest of this through the through the sluice One more last and shot, just to check. That's it for now. So there's your update on that on that sample area. I believe this is the third or fourth spot that we've sampled. We've sampled five spots, and I think we've decided on uh, where we're gonna work maybe a little bit this evening, certainly tomorrow. Uh, we ran through uh, all of that, all of those samples, we ran through the river sluice as our primary processor, and it, it worked very well. We found, uh, some, we found some gold in just about every sample. Um, a couple of them were really bad, so we moved on to other areas. I think after our fifth sample area here today, we've decided where we're going to work tomorrow, and we'll bring that. You know, we'll show you that from time to time. The best one was the last area that I, the hole that I was cleaning out that cubby hole. Um, it's beautiful out here, and uh, it's the end of day two pretty much here. So, what I wanted to show you was the uh, the, the, the clean out of the sluice box. You know, I'm figuring we probably ran five, six buckets you know, in total through the sluice box and I wanted to do a clean out to see what made it past the VMAT, what made it down into the riffles of the sluice and uh, I'm going to show you that right now. It's pretty interesting. So thanks a lot for coming along. We'll be doing some updates from time to time you know, throughout the day and as things happen but for right now I'm just going to show you the, uh, what I panned out from the sluice box. And I found some lead, I found some, I found some gold. So I'm gonna show that to you and uh, sign out for now. So thanks again for coming along and uh, here is the sluice box. All right guys, I got the concentrates from the sluice box and like I, like I may have said in the earlier video, I didn't really think we were gonna find anything down in the sluice box per se, but um, I did find some gold in here and also some lead that we were able to to collect in the sluice box. So I'm gonna show that to you. 
I'm gonna just do a little bit, a little bit better panning here. Quite a bit of lead. We've got quite a bit of lead in there. I'm gonna show you the gold pieces of gold before I use the snuffer. Stiff them up. Let me see where we at here. All right, there we go. There's some. There's some of that pretty yellow gold. See some smaller pieces over here, and some tiny stuff, and then some, uh, you know, some pretty nice little pieces right here. That's good river placer gold. Now there is more. There are some more pieces in here, which, you know, like I've shown you before, I'll go through that more carefully. But I'm going to use the snuffer bottle and get the gold out of the pan first. All right, there you go. This is all lead shot, pieces of bullets, fragments of lead. So there you go. There's a lead, the lead collection for today. I really wish that were gold, but uh, we do what we can.